you're getting an opportunity once again to fight in Las Vegas. I know that you and your team have worked very hard to put on great performances, and you seem to step your game up even more when you're on the big stage. So what can fans expect from you on this card on Saturday night? Each fight, I keep improving. You know, uh, we always learn from our mistakes. After every fight, we don't focus on what I did for that, and that, you know, that's what I thrive for. That's what I really want. That's what I crave. So, uh, and uh, for me, you know, I'm just gonna be in there same, same me, just every time better improve, better IQ, everything always confident, you know, I'm gonna let my hands fly. I know every time you fight, you fight for your family, you fight for your city. Um, who in particular are you fighting for in this fight? Who are you dedicating this fight to? I'm doing this fight to uh, Tupac. You know, he, today, no, tomorrow, Friday, September 13th will be his anniversary of passing away here in Vegas, and I was a big fan of him. So, you know, this one would be de de dedicated to him, Tupac. I was a big fan. You're going to be walking out to maybe some Tupac? You're going to give everybody an idea, maybe? Not this time, but I'll, I sure will walk out to some Tupac sometime. I, I know. I know you will. I look forward to your walkouts every time. Go ahead, Bob. We're, no, continue with Gabe, and then I want to say a couple things. I think Gabe's... You good, right. Gabe? I'm good. I'm good. All right. <laughs> All right. Before Christina uh, introduces uh, the fighters, I want to say a couple of things. In these features, co-features, what we've tried to do is to bring back rivalries that people understand. Now in one fight that we'll get to in a second, uh, we have a great traditional rivalry that Mexican fans understand. We have a fighter from Mexico City, fighting a fighter from Northern Mexico, namely Tijuana. Now that rivalry has existed in boxing for years, typified by the three great Morales Pereira fights. Pereira being from Mexico City, and uh, uh, Morales, of course, from Tijuana. And then a second rivalry that everybody knows who has- The biggest win of your career, a spectacular knockout, of 2016 Olympian Antonio Vargas. Uh, what did you take away from that experience? Cardi's going to translate that for everybody. Viste la pelea de la victoria más importante de tu carrera, el primer olímpico del 2016, Antonio Vargas. ¿Qué te llevaste esa experiencia? Fue una pelea muy buena, dura, para la que me preparé a conciencia, porque sé que venían cosas importantes, y pues aquí estamos y venimos a ganar. That was a great fight. I prepared myself uh, very well because of that. Carlos Padre, it's good to see you again. What does it mean to you? Uh, I'm going to kind of piggyback on what Bob said about that rivalry. You representing Mexico City here on Mexican Independence Day weekend. Okay, yeah. Bueno, me siento muy contento de estar aquí en la, en la ciudad de Las Vegas, en la gran cartelera. Eh, quiero agradecer a, a Top Rank, a Take In Promotion, al WBC que siempre me apoya y, y pues quiero que sepan que, que voy a tener una, una gran pelea, vengo bien preparado, quiero volver a ser campeón mundial y ahora se pone José María Cárdenas en, en el camino y, y nada más hay que, hay que despacharlo con lo que dice el gimnasio, ahí yo tengo su medicina ropa. <risa> He wants to become a world champion again, yeah. and he's saying that he has to stand up on the stage and fight for uh, you know, not only your family and friends, but for Mexico on this weekend. Well, it's an honor for me to be fighting uh, Mexican Independence Day. Um, I always uh, see this day, you know, big fighters, uh, big Mexican fighters fighting on this day. It now is my turn to represent, uh, and especially against Puerto Rico. So it's, it's um, I put all the work in the, in the gym and, and we're ready to give the fans a good fight and um, the, hopefully the best fight of the night. Yeah, I think a lot of people are really excited about your fight. There's been a lot of buzz about your fight, uh, possibly stealing the show, and Fox and fans are really excited to know that the matchup between you and Jose Pajas. And I know that you you know boxing and you watch your opponents, and although he was fighting at 135 pounds, it's kind of put out there that he'd be moving up to 140. So did you have any thoughts and how do you watch the film on Pedraza? What are you going to know about him as a opponent? Yeah, he's a very uh, smart fighter. Uh, he likes to box. Uh, he has some speed, and, and, and yeah, we did watch him, you know, some fights of him. But um, 
I believe I, I have uh, the same thing. I'm a pretty smart fighter. I like to box, and, and I believe it's going to be an interesting fight. And uh, see, see how it goes. Uh, both of us are going to give all in the ring, and, and uh, it's going to be a good fight. Top rank has another 140-pound world champion, Jose Ramirez. You put up a very, very good fight right. against him. Um, Not a good fight. I said he a very, gave, very good fight. Ramirez <laughs> his toughest fight. That was an outstanding fight. Yeah. Um, although Ramirez is out for the rest of this year, um, he only gave a hand injury. Um, He'll be coming here. He'll be coming here. Great. Jose will be here for the fight. Fantastic. He's a great admirer of yours. He gave a hell of a fight. You want to rematch in that fight. Yeah, hopefully if, if everything goes good, you know, first I gotta clean up on Pedraza. But um, yeah, there's a lot of talk about Ramirez and I, and uh, a lot of people that I want, a lot of people that he want. It was for sure a close fight. Um, if I win this fight, hopefully uh, uh, we could do a rematch. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, yeah. All right, I know, I know. Moving up now to 140. We talked a little bit about it after your last fight. You kind of knew your body was ready to move up. Is that really what made you want to move up? Was it the weight or is it the no, eh, definitivamente fue por la oportunidad que, que se me pueden presentar en esta nueva división. Eh, tengo una meta por recorrer, así que voy a estar por esos propósitos. I'm willing to wait because I'm about to do this. Well, Pedraza gave him hell, and the fight before that, he beat another, he beat a Mexican, right, with Beltran. That was one of the fights of the year. Right. So what would it mean to you now at 140 pounds? I would have to imagine your goal here is to be able to fight for another world title. What would it mean to you if you get that opportunity, if you get past the beta, to be a three-division world champion for Puerto Rico? <laughs> Eh, sería algo eh, bueno para mí, algo bueno para Puerto Rico. Eh, sería un, un, una de las metas que, que trazaría en mi vida, así que eh, sería un reto y una, una oportunidad para la futura eh, metas que tengo. It would be great for me, it would be great for Puerto Rico, and that's one of my life goals to become a three-time world champion. But first he has to get past Zepeda. His thoughts on Zepeda and what kind of performance that they're going to deliver on Saturday night. If you want to win a title in 140, you have to win a title with Zepeda. Definitely. He came to a new division, with Eh, del calibre mundial y de eso es lo que queremos buscar. Primero tenemos que pasar a, a voces de pelea para tener esta oportunidad eh, mundial. Uh, definitely, we have to get one fight at a time. Uh, we know we are going up to a division where there's a lot of good fighters, world caliber fighters, uh, and we have to take care of Cepeda first to get to that title opportunity. Now, those of you who are right here now uh, know the great contributions and the great uh, Manny Pacquiao and what he, he accomplished. But before Manny Pacquiao, long before Manny Pacquiao, the first Filipino to win a world championship is the, was the legendary Flash Alorti. He was the icon that every fighter, including Manny Pacquiao, wanted to model himself after. We have on this card his grandson, Juan Miguel. And Juan Miguel Alorti uh, is not only the grandson of Flash Alorti, but a fighter who has made the Philippines proud uh, with his accomplishments. And in honor of that, we've made a picture uh, a print of a famous painting that the great artist Leroy Neiman, who did Ali and all the great boxes, uh, painted. And we're going to present this print now uh, to his grand, of Flash Lordy, to his grandson, Juan Miguel.
put into words what this last year has been like for you? Si puedes poner palabras como si este año para ti lo que ganaste a tope, ganaste el título, luego de que el título en la revancha, me ganaste de vaca, ya estás aquí en una cartera grande de bajo de Tyson Fury. ¿Qué significa para ti este año, este último año? Pues la verdad le agradezco mucho a yo Bobán que me que me está apoyando mucho eh, respecto a las peleas, ¿no? me da la oportunidad con, con esa tope, eh, se viene la revancha, eh, todos saben qué pasó, ¿no? viene la pelea con Francisco de Vaca, me, eh, por cualquier razón este, la hizo la, la función, sale todo muy bien y ahora me pone en la, en la pelea, en la semana de la independencia de México, estoy más que agradecido, motivado, contento y pues si peleo en diciembre también no tengo problema, ¿eh? estoy muy contento agradecido de verdad eh, yo voy a, a brindarme el fin de semana pues para que para que vean que realmente hago bien las cosas estoy entrenando bien me cuido me, 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 me preparo para no estar eh, peleando nada más por pues por cumplir no first of all I want to thank Bob for the opportunity he has given me he gave me the opportunity to fight for, for a world title against Dogbe then the rematch then the vaca now I'm here in a big part uh, I just want to Tell him that if he lets me, I'm gonna fight in December too. <laughs> so he's ready. And uh, bon I'm gonna give you my all. And show everyone that I'm doing things the right way. I know Bob is the one that sets the plans, but if you could have your wish, um, I would have to imagine a unification fight is something that that you would like to go for next. Is yeah. that correct? <laughs> Claro que sí, yo, eh, yo quiero hacer lo, lo mejor que pueda dentro de mis posibilidades en 122 y pues sabemos que lo mejor en una división es unificarla toda, ¿no? entonces si se puede eh, y mi cuerpo me, me, me da la posibilidad de marcar 122 hasta que lo podamos lograr, estaría perfecto y si no pues también tenemos bastante carrera por delante. As long as my body permits it, I'm going to stay here and, and I want to unify titles. But if not, I'm going to move up and have a great career in front of me. Yeah, tell us what we're going to make. As a 120-pound champion, the WBC champion, Vargas, uh, is coming to this fight. Yeah. Oh, pues gracias por traerlo para que vea. Thank you for, for bringing him so we can see what he's in his face. Well, Bob, that just about wraps it up. Let me oh, give a couple quick details. Wait, no, 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 no. 